Hi, welcome back to another Nutrition Minute. I'm Brad Hall and this is Justin Harris and we're talking a little bit about his uh, off-season diet and what he did a little bit differently this year. Well, I uh, decided to diet our own. Uh, it's been a long time since I've been in contest shape. Those that follow me know that I took six years off of training to go back to school and uh, I just came back a little over a year ago, got my weight back up to about 285, 288 and it was still fairly lean. I think it was about the biggest I've ever been. And I, so I decided to try to diet down, maybe not all the way to contest shape, but pretty close just to see, see what I looked like. And I also decided to try a little bit of a different diet approach. The diet approach I've always taken, for, for most of my clients I do a form of carb cycling. For myself it's always been a pretty high carbohydrate diet, I, much higher than I, than I have most of my clients do. A typical low carb day would be about 350 grams, a typical medium carb day would be about 500 grams of carbohydrates, and a high carb day would be up over 1,000 grams. And pro, you know, my, my calories would be in the same range as anyone my size would be, but the macros would be a little bit different. Well, this time I decided to try a more of a very low carb, high fat approach. And I would do, uh, most of my meals would have about 60 grams of protein with 14 to 21 grams of fat. And then I would only have carbs before and after my workout. So about a, between 100 and 150 grams of carbs total for the day. And I found out pretty quickly that that diet approach d didn't work for me. Uh, I went from about 285 to about, to 65 pretty quickly uh, and feel like I lost most of my fullness and most of my size. And uh, But that's that's what you do when you're a nutritionist. You, I think it's best to experiment on yourself before you experiment on anyone else. Right. And uh, that doesn't mean this diet won't work for other people. And I know some people, some people do very well, bodybuilding competitions, follow this kind of diet. But before I started using it with other clients, uh, I wanted to see how it worked on myself first. And I found that it didn't work very well on myself. And so I'm, uh, I'm probably still going to try to lean out a little bit, but I've gone back more to, to my traditional dieting approach of a little bit higher carbohydrates. And is there, are you going to, what changes are you going to make kind of transitioning over, or are you just going to go straight from what you're doing? It was straight, it was uh, just taking some uh, some photos just to see how I was looking and realized really quickly that I weighed about what I weighed on stage last time I competed and I was nowhere near competition conditioning. So I pretty much went the next day, went back to my former approach of dieting where I had about 350 grams of carbohydrates, about six ounces of meat each meal and no real added fats. And uh, it's only been, it's been less than a week since I've been doing it, so I haven't noticed much difference. But What, what about your strength and, and training? Did that change much? It, you know, uh, strength really never... Uh, Strength is something that always comes much easier for me than, than size or conditioning or anything else. And that strength never really changed. It never really does. Uh, <laughs> so it's, uh, I mean, even when I'm really low carbohydrate or really depleted or anything, my, my strength pretty much always stays the same. I'm, I'm much more gifted naturally, I think, for, for strength than I am for size or definitely than conditioning. But So that didn't really affect my training. My workouts were fine. I, I felt good. I just feel that... The type of physique I have is, some, is a physique that goes flat very quickly and, uh, and, and looks better when it's full. And I feel like I flattened out really quickly and lost all my fullness and roundness and just basically looked like a, a shrunken down version of my, of my 285 pound self without much fat loss. Fair enough.